What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well and it's coming from a way different place than normal. We're going to go review a state park in Florida. We've been there twice this week while we've been here. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to go back. Let's take a look at it because it does have camping. Of course, beach access, which I will throw in some beach stuff that we took the other day. And we're going to view some of the other stuff um, about it. But it's about a 10 minute drive from here, from the house. Maybe five or 10 minutes from where we're staying. So let's go take a look at it and we'll be back. Alright guys, so we're at the state park. I'm going to roll in. This is the parking for the beach area. I'm going to roll in some footage of the beach area that we were here the other day. And um, I'm not going to go up there today. We're going to go and look at the other sections. But this is the beach parking. Um, I think if you're looking for free access to the beach or beach access, the state park um, has a really nice section of beach. Um, it was gorgeous up there but these dunes and everything are just so killer I, I just they offer something that you know I wasn't expecting I guess I've seen dunes before but these <coughs> excuse me are just way different than what I've seen um, here in Florida before but I mean they're some of those over there are humongous dunes Okay, so this is one of the picnic areas by the lake. I'll put the name of the lake down below. We're gonna walk up here to the picnic area. Like I said, beach access is just right over there. But, uh, oh, um, close to Pendleton Air Force Base and the F-22 Raptors flying over ever so often. It has been kind of cool to say the least anyway huh like a mockingbird chasing down a crow that's pretty funny um let's take a look at this area Now I will say these state parks are, this state park anyway, I, I, I'm not going to specify it down. Stay off dunes, beach dunes, pro restoration in progress. Nah, didn't need that. Anyway, isn't that gorgeous? It's such a different vibe than what I'm used to. It's just so different. And it's crazy, that's a lake. And the gulf's just right over there. Literally right over there. But, something pretty special. It's a decent, cool breeze today. It'll be hot, hot later. Now, supposedly, there are gators in that. And maybe we see one at some point when we're exploring back over on the other side. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, this is special. Well, there you'll see I've got a special hat on today because I'm trying to keep from getting burnt up any more than I already am from swimming and stuff. But, uh, Anyway, I talked about it with the wife over the week. It would be kind of cool to come back down here like in late December, maybe January, somewhere in there, February, and camp when it's much cooler. 
I couldn't do this in June camping wise in a tent um, we'll we'll look at the campsites here in a minute um, but this this would be kind of cool I like to camp my way down and then camp my way back um, this thing would be kind of cool but what else was I gonna say oh something else I noticed kind of like Tennessee uh, we have Tennessee State Parks and we have Tennessee State Forest Florida has the same thing As a matter of fact we passed through one um, going to dinner the other night but we passed through a Florida State Forest which is separate from the Florida State Parks because um, I got online and checked it out and everything and I'll leave links down below so if you want to you know say you're traveling and you want to camp at one of the Florida State Parks I'll leave a link down below for the state parks and the state forest I think it's pretty cool but uh, yeah let me zoom in a little bit I do have the big wide angle on this camera today and uh, let's see it one more time and we'll go check out some other parts of the park it's not a very huge park but it's pretty neat it's really neat and special um, so we're going to get back in the van as I am driving the van the trucks at home so I had to bring the uh, wife's van they've got the golf cart for the day um, but uh, we're going to do something with that later another in the main video but anyway. okay so over there too is a I think it's a mile and a half walking trail nature trail that takes you through the dunes um, so keep that in mind if you come to Grayton um, State Park it's I think it'd be a kind of a cool hike I didn't come prepared to hike I did not okay here is another view of the lake looking back over there it goes back over there a marshy area over here um, I will say back over there they do rent kayaks so if you want to go kayaking, you could rent one there and go kayaking. But just on the other side here is the sign that says caution. Big old picture of an alligator. So who knows if we'll see one or not. I doubt it. Um, but really neat area. I mean, it's kind of diverse in what's around. Um, what's funny is the palms that are around but pine trees are just as prevalent if not more and that's what those are over there is pine um, than the palm trees are I mean if you look back over here it's nothing but pines there's a handful of palms scattered in but I kind of noticed that the the pine trees in this area like over there that's nothing but pine trees so Anyway, campground's over there. We're going to go take a look at it next. Drove through it the other day briefly, but I want to drive in and we're going to stop and find an empty site maybe and uh, take a look at what they have to offer as far as their sites. But uh, this is really special and different. I just keep saying that, but it is. Um, not what I'm used to in Tennessee. Just say that as far as the state park. Okay, as we drive over to the camping area, they do have cabins that are down the road from here. Um, you can't get in there unless you've got, um, uh, well, a code to get in. We don't have that code, so we're not going to try to get in. But um, they do have cabins, so I will throw that out there. If you decide to come down and want to stay in a cabin, come down in the summer, you've got that option or if you want to camp in your camper you have that option too um, it's just way different than <laughs> I, I just you know I know it's it's a beach town beach area so the whole layout of the land's gonna look way different than most of the state parks I'm used to okay so here's your standard campsite it is gravel. Um, you do have a picnic bench or picnic table. I just saw a mouse or something run back up off in there. 
do have a fire grate it is shady I would say that's for hanging towels and stuff on to dry them But I kind of like how the heavily dense sights between the sights. Um, here's your electrical and water in the sight. Let's see. There's your 30 amp, 50 amp. There is no 110 to speak of, but you do have 30 and 50. That yeah, I like this so you're not really on top of your neighbor. And I don't know what the little rodent was that ran off in the woods, but uh, keep that in mind. But I would practice as far as food safety, I would practice keep the edibles inside your vehicle so that things don't get attacked, keep it out of your tent. But uh, this is really neat. You get a lot of, you got quite a bit of shade in this, and you would need this in the middle of summer um, at this state park, especially in the nineties. Um, of course, I would say if you're going to be here in the summer. You're going to be at the water most of the time. So anyway, uh, let's move on. But uh, this is your typical campsite here. Uh, I kind of like how it's gravel. I'm sure it's sand underneath, it's a sand base. But I like the way this is set up. I really do, actually. That's up. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. So one more thing I will po point out. I did notice they have firewood and ice um, available here at the campgrounds. But I will tell you, they do not have a store available. But I did just pick up a sticker. That's a pretty cool looking sticker right there. Um, so anyway, that is the campground tours for, or campground tour for Grayton State Park uh, here in Florida, near Seagrove uh, in Seaside, Florida. Um, beautiful park, beautiful park. I uh, just told him, I said I was here to, I said we've been here two or three days in a row. We came down and did our uh, family pictures down here. Yeah, so I wanted to come back and do a video for YouTube for the park. It's a gorgeous park, friendly people, very friendly people. He's, he had told him I was, you know, I had a YouTube channel and we did a lot of stuff up in Tennessee, Kentucky, and that kind of stuff. But God, I want to, I want to expand that. I want to go further with it. Uh, visit more state parks in other st states and stuff. So, anyways, that's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Be prepared, and we'll see you on the next one from Grayton Beach State Park in Florida.